Now it is time to start applying our logs to real world like situations. That says log applications, I promise you look. Wee, there we go, that's better. All right, now I got a little bit of glare, but oh well, it is what it is. So we're just gonna talk through for this video is explaining what these variables are on these equations. So as we go through and look at some examples, we know what these variables represent and we know how to plug in the information that we're given. So we're going to start out here. This is our compounded interest formula. Okay? So compounded interest. This formula talks about like say you invest money or you take out a loan, how do they calculate the interest that you have to pay on that loan amount or your investment amount, how much are you getting back? Um, let's just talk about these both or these variables here. A, this is for your total amount. What this is, is it's going to take your starting amount and it's going to include the interest. So this is the final amount, principal plus interest. This isn't going to tell you just the interest. It's going to tell you the principal plus interest. Okay, along with that, the P here. This stands for principal. The principal is your initial amount, starting amount. So if you took out a loan, how much did you take out? If you're investing money, how much are you investing? That's what we're going to apply the interest to. Okay. Um, T, this is our time in years. So in this case, it's going to be years only. T is time in years. R, this is our rate, and it is always written as a decimal. So, for example, if we had 6%, the loan increases at 6%, we have to use that 6% as 0 0.06. So we're not going to plug in 6 for our rate, we're going to plug in the decimal 0 0.06. And our last variable here is N. And N represents the number of times your interest is compounded per year. So we're just going to say the number of times compounded per year. Sweet. All right. So for example, if they told us that it was compounded annually. Well, annually is once a year. So that means n equals 1. Okay, we could say monthly. And that's going to be n equals 12. Uh, quarterly. n equals 4. Um, Semi-annually, that's going to happen twice a year. So there's a couple different options here. All of it is, is how many times is it compounded a year? And that's what our N value represents. And that value goes in two different places. So both of those Ns represent that number. Okay, cool. So what happens here is if it's compounded a lot, so like monthly is 12. If I said compounded daily, that's 365. Hourly, that's a bigger number. Every second, that's a bigger number. And as that compounded number grows, it actually is going to approach the value that we've talked about is E. So this E is replacing part of this interest formula. This is what happens when our interest or our growth, whatever we're looking at, is compounded continuously. So if it's compounded continu continuously, it is happening every single second. So it's just happening all the time. And so E is the number 2.71828 blah, 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 blah. You're not going to change that. It's always going to be there. And then we're going to have our principal. We're going to have our rate as a decimal. And T is time. Sometimes the R in this formula can be given as a K. The formula still works the same, the variables just change a little bit. 
Okay, cool. So something to talk about real quick. In this case, if it's talking about a decay formula, I like to use this one a lot more, we'll say, when we're talking about organic growth. So like population, bacteria growth, material decay, all that kind of stuff. If it is a decay, well, if I could spell, a decay is going to give me a negative rate. So that means if this is going to be a decay, I'm going to put a negative here. That's all that's going to change. And if this, if you're losing money on an interest or some sort of investment, then this plus sign becomes a negative. So it becomes one minus the rate. All right. So there's an intro into these. It's a little bit of a long intro. Let's come back with some examples.